Hi everyone, this is Abhinav from Phone Bunch, and today we will be doing the benchmarking review of the Sony Xperia Even Dual. From right there, let's get into settings. Let's get into about phone. You can see the model name, it's D2105 running Android 4.3 and that's the Xperia Even Dual. Getting into hardware information, you can see the model number as well and the display resolution is 480 by 800 pixels. Some space is taken by the on-screen buttons. You have an ARM V7 based processor running on the Qualcomm MSM8210 chipset. The board supports Adreno 305 but the phone actually has Adreno 302 GPU with OpenGL specification 3.0 support. The phone has 512 MB of RAM out of which 422 is available to the system and at present 85 MB is free. You have 2 GB of internal storage which is expandable using a micro SD card to up to 32 GB. There is a 3.1 MP primary camera, there is no front facing camera and you can record videos up to 800 into 600 pixels resolution higher than 480p and it's a fixed focus camera. So you have a 1700 mAh lithium polymer battery on the even dual and sensors here you can see that you have the accelerometer, magnetic field sensor, the proximity light sensor do work. You have the orientation sensor, light sensor, rotation vector sensor, gravity sensor and a linear acceleration sensor. So many sensors there. Now we will run the Antutu benchmark. We are running the complete test here. We have fast forwarded all the benchmarks to get to the final results quickly. So scores have started loading up. Let's have a look. It's a brilliant score. We got a score of 12369 on Antutu which is great for this price point and you can see that it's just below the Google Nexus 4 which has a quad core processor. Now we are running the quadrant benchmark. This has been fast forwarded as well. Let's submit the score to get a comparison chart. So we got a score of 5390 on quadrant which is again quite high and you can see that it's at the top of the charts. Now we are running the Nina Mark 2 benchmark. It will test the graphics prowess and give us a frame rate. So you got 55.4 FPS which is again a very healthy score meaning even high end games should be playable but we are restricted to 2 GB of internal storage. This is Linpack, we are running the single thread test, we got a score of 75, again a very healthy score. Now we are running the multi thread test, it's inconsistent, we will run that again. We got a score of 122 which is again quite good. This is Velamo. We are running the HTML5 chapter now. The scores we have got till now are quite comparable with several other phones in this price point and higher than MediaTek offerings. So we got a score of 1849 which is again really high and higher than the Samsung Galaxy S Duos 2 which is also available within this price. And you can see the company here, the Xiaomi Mi2S which is actually a quad core phone. This is Velamo Metal. So we got a score of 474 which is again quite high especially in this price point and again higher than the Galaxy S Duos 2. Now we will do the multi touch test. I have 4 fingers on the display but only 2 are detected. So it's a 2 point multi touch display. You can see that there is a small notification LED up top right there which is glowing white. It is a multi colored LED but that's not what's strange on the phone. If we come to the Walkman app, you will see a small light at the bottom of the display as well. You can call that media visualization and it doesn't function as the notification LED. Only the top one blinks if you have a notification. Well that was a look at the benchmarks of the Sony Xperia Even Dual. The phone looks really good, it has great build quality, it's quite light. It has a great display and even in terms of synthetic benchmarks as well as day to day use it feels snappier than the Galaxy S Duos 2. We will be back with lots more. Till then you can watch our unboxing of the Moto X in India which we did today and you can also watch the Xperia Even unboxing and the Nokia X Dual SIM unboxing as well. We will be back with lots more. If you have any questions don't forget to ask. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.